remember back in undergrad, I used to be very methodical with how you approach like studying and organizing things and everything. Um, mm-hmm. what, what techniques did you use in med school um, in your first two years? And then also in um, your clinical years, in your third years and your fourth year that you found helpful? What kind of resources did you like using? How do you say you're like you're studying and what techniques do you find to be the most effective since from undergrad to med school, from undergrad to med school, obviously there's going to be different resources you use, but then I feel like sometimes there's also different techniques that you use um, as you become like a better student and um, maybe not, maybe you had everything that you needed in undergrad, but uh, how, how do you kind of approach things? Yeah, I think for me, the biggest thing during the first two years was um, like, it's nice because like compared to undergrad, you kind of still have lecture packets and kind of like a structured like material to study from. That's your like primary source of uh, studying. So as far as like, you know, however many lectures that let's say like your neurology midterm has, I still like to divide that up. Like, you know, starting like five days before an exam, just like go through like each lecture packet and then leading up to that Saturday or Sunday before a Monday exam, like I would save those last few days for practice exams and like reviewing the highlights of all of those packets instead of like being involved in the nitty gritty. Cause I think in med school, obviously like practice questions play a big part. And maybe if I had to go back, like I would do even more practice questions or maybe try to like get through a whole like Q bank, whether it's like USMLE, RX or um, Kaplan, or just one of the ones that isn't new worlds to like, beef up like my question game uh so i'd say like that's a pretty good strategy uh first two years and then like going into the clinical years obviously you have less time so i think between anki and U world alone like those are two good resources and if you have if you have time like you can read up-to-date articles on like the big pathologies um just because i've heard from some people that like that does pay off for step two but i think uh yeah anki and um anki and uh you were older, good for clinical years. So you weren't really a fan of uh, video resources like Pathoma, Sketchy, Online Meded, things like that, or no? Or- not, not so much. Online Meded, I didn't too, touch too much. I liked, I liked Sketchy for the first two years. That was good. Um, and then I, I mean, I watched Pathoma, um, but I just felt like I, like I got more use out of doing like Anki for step one um, versus like doing Pathoma just because it sunk in more. And for Sketchy, did you like a particular um, uh, one of their subjects? Like, uh, I, for me, I found, um, I've talked about this before on my channel, but I've, I found micro to be the most useful, farm to be somewhat useful, path to be like the least useful, maybe targeted. And now I think they even have like, um, like clinical year um, subjects too, which I would find like a bit too many to remember, just like so many different like sketches. Mm-hmm. But what were your thoughts on which ones were the most high yield or beneficial? Yeah, I think I agree. I think like micro is definitely the best. I think farm is a close second though, just because like, especially when it comes to like cancer drugs or just um, some drugs that just have like a lot going on as far as like very specific, like mechanisms of action, it helps distinguish them. Um, I'd say those two are the best. I didn't really touch path, uh, sketchy path much. So I can't say how that one is. Yeah. I I just feel like after a while, like they started blending together and there's so many to remember. It's like, like it was nice, like especially micro, I felt was super helpful. Like mm-hmm. I still like sometimes like people ask me or like in clinics they ask me like random facts or random things come up. Then I'm like, oh yeah, that was gram negative. It was like whatever fermenting or whatever. Just because like I remember like that like milk carton in like that one sketch or whatever, you know. Yeah. Um, it was really helpful, but like I said, after like a couple sketch, like after like a hundred, two hundred sketches or whatever, after a while they start just like blending together. I'm like, sometimes I have to look up. Um, like the name and sketch on like Google images or whatever to just remember like what the picture was. And then I remember like the details, you know, so it's like even remembering what picture it was gets difficult sometimes. Um, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. So they start blending together, but uh, I like, it, I feel like it was super helpful and I think it was worth it while it lasted a little pricey, but you know, I mean, I guess if you paid for it, it was a little pricey. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to comment on uh, <laughs> the legality of my methods. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny how like it, it's not only spoken about that much, but um, if you're a pre-med uh, watching this or I guess even med students, um, there's a lot of resources that are shared, shared uh, PDF resources, video resources and stuff among classes, which is why it's important to uh, 
know your classmates, build up good relationships and connections and things like that. Any advice for new med students, uh, maybe the newly admitted ones? I'm not sure how the COVID thing is affecting them, but um, what would you recommend to like a new med student who just admitted or like a first year on um, taking the most advantage out of their med school years and um, doing well? Yeah, I'd say one of the biggest things is probably to like start understanding like your classes like conceptually as quickly as possible. I know like there's a lot of details and a lot of things that like you feel like you have to memorize and sure like that's fine. But as far as like just like coming up with analogies that you can relate to and coming up with things that you can like draw a concept back very quickly will help you like going into not only your first year, two year exams, but also like in the clinic, like to be able to draw something just based on like personal anecdotes, I think like plays a huge factor. And then I'd say probably the two big things are like to start like the zonky, like step one packet, like right away, just because like, you know, it's 20,000 plus cards, but like it really is high yield and leads to good scores. And then also um, like doing a question bank as, as you progress through your first two years, whether it's like Kaplan or USMLE, like RX or something, just so like you get a bunch of questions in before you take a step. Yes. Yeah, so, so you recommend starting uh, Anki like right away, even early in your first year. Right. Like whatever subject you're doing, like if you start with biochem, start doing the biochem deck and then yeah. keep going basically. Yeah. I, I think one of like the uh, higher up admins at our orientation, even he was telling us, um, I don't know if it's a cultural thing. This, this probably sounds maybe racist, but uh, <laughs> he's like one of those like foreign, uh, uh, foreign Asian, uh, elderly Asian uh doctors who was it was just like telling us to like start studying for a step even before our first day of our first week of med school which is like really funny oh my god <laughs> that's too much <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah i mean there are people that like start you know even trying to prep before but uh, personally i think maybe waiting till unless you're like really weak in a subject i think waiting till like you know med school just starts and just like dealing with it then uh, would probably be the best um, if you're like a newly admitted med student, maybe brushing up on some big topics if you're like really weak. But if you're like a, a solid student, I feel like you could probably just take the summer off before. I don't know. Maybe that's my opinion. I, no, I agree. I think you don't have to do like anything like before like day one of med school, just because yeah. you know, you're going to learn like, like you have pass, no pass. I don't even know now that I think about it, like if doing Zonky is even worth it, you know, for step one, if it's, if you just need a minimum score and. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Cause the whole change. Yeah. It's going to be weird to see that sometimes like you don't even yeah. notice the effects to like, like a couple of years after when they've studied, you know, the people that have gone through and then notice the changes. So it might be like a couple of year, like weird years. Plus like, like again with that COVID thing right now, I'm not sure how that's affecting uh, like AMCAs and interviews and all that stuff um because yeah. like yeah i mean that's gonna be rough trying to like figure everything out especially yeah, even online stuff yeah 